of the coyote, Canis latrans, is a famous member of the North American habitats. About the size of a medium domesticated dog, it has a bushy black tipped tail and a pointy face with pointy large ears. Many attempts have been made to kill them off as farmers and ranchers see them as pests and a predator on their livestock and chickens. However, the population of the coyote in the U.S. and Canada is expanding. The coyote lives in the wilds, cities, and suburbs. A small family group will take up residence in an area where they will claim the territory by scent marking from a gland on their paws, also with urine and scat. They will dig several dens for whelping their young in the area. They do this in case of a threat to the young. Dens are only used for the young. The coyote is an omnivore eating rodents, cactus pads, cucumbers, eggs, and carrion. Inspecting coyote scat on the trail is always interesting because it is so varied because of their diet. They have a keen sense of smell, hearing, and sight, and they dig for mice and ground squirrels and gophers. They get into trouble with humans by eating young sheep and cattle as well as house pets in urban areas. Like the wolves, they communicate by singing. However, it's not very musical. Rather than howls and songs, the coyote yips and yaps. Coyotes will breed in February and March and birth in April and May. Often their young will stay through the next breeding cycle to help raise their younger siblings. In Indian folklore, the coyote is seen as a trickster because it is considered smart, sly, cunning, and secretive. The giving of human traits may not be too far off the mark, as this is one species that beats us when we try to eliminate it. The coyote is a real survivalist. The Coyote Canis Latrans <laughs>